for us, I would say our turning point in our tending our soil journey was when we were asked to, to come up with a persona of people in our neighborhood that we specifically were trying to reach. Who is our tar target audience? And that was informed by the Mission Insight Report. And uh, up until this point, we thought that we were surrounded by families with young children, because we see children in the playground and at the nursery school and on the streets. But we, what we didn't realize was from our Mission Insight Report, it turns out that we have a lot of empty nesters. We have a lot of uh, older adults who are you know, either divorced or widowed and living alone. And we realized that we needed to target a different population altogether. And that really made a difference in the way we started thinking about our ministries. And we started thinking, you know, we've got a lot of folks who are kind of isolated or they're at a turning point in their journey. And maybe we should start targeting them. So when we did our persona, we came up with this couple, Sarah and Robert, who were empty nesters in their late 50s or early 60s. And we started thinking about what they might need and how we could minister to and with them. It really was a shift in how we were looking at our overall ministry and the individual ministries that we ought to be pursuing in this neighborhood because people haven't left. Their kids have grown up, but they're still here. And we had begun to see um, some receptivity to different missions like a coat drive or an event where you know we have a lot of retired people in an apartment complex nearby and um, they were responding and so we thought maybe our ministries need to include some things that appeal to this age group. One of our parishioner, she's on the vestry, uh, used to say that she could never see herself inviting anyone to come to church. Well, as we started talking about experimenting with different things, she has taken off. She uh, arranged to have this beautiful photography exhibit in our parish hall one Sunday afternoon, got what, over 70 people coming in from the neighborhood. Um, has curated a jazz concert series. And our most recent ministry that she and our parish administrator have come up with is called Tea Tech and Board Games. And it's this brilliant concept. Tuesday afternoons, you invite people in the neighborhood to come in. Originally, we were targeting some of the older folks who might have questions about their devices. And then we have young people from the area schools who come for SSL hours and they do some tutoring and that's adorable. Uh, you know, this is how you take a picture. This is how you, you know, read your messages, whatever. And then we serve tea and we have board games available and it's this beautiful intergenerational moment. I think we became a lot more open to um, programming and ministries that might not ever involve somebody walking through the door mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, but where we could be serving our community and helping our community to serve others through some of these various programs, we would love for them to come to church on Sunday, and okay. some of them do. Um, but we became much more flexible in our thinking, and um, we continue to challenge ourselves in that way. Something is happening at St. Dunstan's. There's a different energy. We have, we do have more people walking through the doors on Sundays, but we also have all of these other programs that have sprung up and that are giving people energy as they help to organize them and bring people through the doors. It's reframing what ministry is, right? Because ministry isn't necessarily Lady Bountiful giving, writing a check or going and feeding people in the neighborhood. Obviously, those are important things. But ministry is helping people connect with who they were created to be and serve other people. And so when we had the coat drive for Afghan refugees and people were bringing the coats to the door with tears in their eyes saying, thank you for letting me participate in this. Thank you for letting me help somebody else. 
that's what Jesus would have us do. And so it's a different way of thinking about how we do ministry, thanks to tending our soil.